lot of talk among the cattle about driving us off the mesa. Let them try it. I put in a lot of hard work on my homestead and I won't be driven out. They'll think they've got a bear by the tail by the time we get through with them. We just won't be run off, that's all. Dawson's right, men. We've got to stand by our rights. Morning, boys. Morning, Morning Aunt Hattie. Hattie. Has Uncle Boone left yet? No, he's in the house with your pa and some of the men folks. I think there's trouble brewing. Good morning, Uncle Boone. We're ready to start work on the dam. All right, we'll be along shortly. You boys bring your rifles? Yes, Dad. Where are you going? Just for a ride to the edge of the mesa. You'd better not be seeing Dan Stockton no more. Why not? Your pa won't like it with all this war talk going on. Dan has no part in the war talk. Neither have I. But his pa is the kingpin of the cattlemen. I'm in love with Dan, not his father. I don't want trouble, but I'll fight for my rights. Do we have to fight? I had hoped those days were over. We homesteaded government land in accord with the law. We found a desert and made it fruitful. And if we leave before we finish proving up on our homestead, anyone could come in and jump our land. You're right. We won't leave. We'll fight first. Uh, yes, I know, but, but I was hoping for the children's sake that... The... <laughs> matter, Gail? You don't seem glad to see me. Of course I'm glad to see you, Dan. But I'm terribly worried. What about? All this talk of trouble between the cattlemen and the Mesa folk. I've heard talk, too. But it may never amount to more than just that. Look there. There's bound to be trouble. There's plenty of water for everyone. The cattlemen don't seem to believe it. If trouble does start, honey, we don't have to be drawn into it. But we can't help ourselves. Oh, yes, we can. Marry me today, Gail. And if trouble moves in, we'll move out. I'm afraid, Dan. You love me, don't you? More than anything in the world. Then what is there to be afraid of? All right. But I must go home first. Meet me here at 4 o'clock. He's been shot. Someone shot him. 
Stockton. Dan Stockton. The Stocktons have started the ball rolling. And what happens from now on is on their own head. It wasn't Dan. How do you know? Well, how do you know? I was with him when the shot was fired. So you're still keeping company with our enemy? Dan is not our enemy. Any one of the Valley Breed is now. I've told you before to have done with him. From now on, you'll see him no more. We'll all go back to the house. And if you leave it again for such a purpose, you'll not come back. got to do now is to sit back and watch the kettle boil. <laughs> <laughs> Says we dry gulched anybody. I do. I saw you right away and I trailed you. Why you? Why you got us all wrong. Did you see anyone fire a shot? No. But those two were there. My boy, it's a very serious matter to accuse anyone of murder without definite proof. Merely being near the scene of a crime isn't proof of guilt. And hasty conclusions might work a grave injustice. Maybe you're right. But I'll turn what I know over to the sheriff and let him decide. A very wise decision. And if anyone shot a nester, he did all you cattlemen a favor. That's a lie. There's no reason for all this talk of trouble with the folks up on the mesa. I'm afraid you don't understand the situation, Dan. You're liable to find out soon that I understand a lot more than you think I do. Howdy, Dan. How's everything out at the ranch? All right. But it's not so good up on the mesa. What do you mean? Tom Horner was murdered up there this morning. Shot from ambush. I was a-fearing some hothead would toss a match in the powder keg. You're the law around here. It's your business to keep the peace. Now everybody in the county is on one side or the other. The law can't do much. A man has been murdered. What are you going to do about it? Now, don't get all in the ladder, Dan. I'll investigate. If you don't, I will. I've got to get those nesters off the mesa before they have time to prove up on their homesteads. Then I'll control every drop of water in that end of the country. <laughs> they don't know it, but they're on their way out right now. Boys, you got your war paint on? I guess we can get it on quick enough if we need to. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Hello, Gabe. Hello, Woodley. Glad to see you, Hammond. Where's Hub? He's in there talking to Dan. He'll be out in a minute. I never dictated to you, son. But the time has come to lay down the law. Keep away from that Dawson outfit. That shyster Baudry has poisoned your mind against the Mesa folks. I know them better than he does, better than you do. They'd be your friends if you'd only let them. And I know Baudry better than you do. 
I know he's up to something crooked. Can you prove that? No, but I hope to. Until you can, I want to hear no more about it. I don't want to break with you, Dad. But I'll have no part in this fight. I fought the Indians for the right to build this spread. You will own someday. My dad fought with Donovan at Sacramento and Chihuahua City. My granddad slung a musket with Andy Jackson at New Orleans. And you'll be the first Stockton who wouldn't fight for what he wants. I'll fight for what I want and for what's right. But that's all I will fight for. And I won't be stampeded by a shyster lawyer. Hello, Hub. Hello, Beaudry. Shall we get down to business? That's what we're here for. Exactly. Well, gentlemen, the question is, are you going to allow a bunch of Missouri clod hoppers to set up there on the mesa and tell you how much water you can have for your cattle? And how much you're going to pay for it? They'll have you at their mercy when they build that dam on Apache Creek, and that's why they're doing it. That's a lie. There's plenty of water for all of us. They need water for irrigation, and that's all they want. Our young friend here seems to have a great deal of faith in human nature. I wonder now if that's due to the influence of a certain Dawson girl. You leave her name out of there. Dad! You behave yourself or get out of this house. All right. I'm halfway down the trail right now. going? To get married. Why, Dan, you can't marry a dog. Fred, we've been friends for a long time. Don't say it. Coffin for Cousin Tom. What does he want with a coffin? So he can have a funeral. What's a funeral? Oh, hush up. Oh, you never tell me nothing. I could live peaceably and not start feuding again. But I guess it ain't to be.
Get your horses. Go, Dan. Hurry. They'll kill you. I won't leave without you. You must. Please hurry. If you meant what you said this morning, you'll go with me now. All right. I'll do whatever you say. Can't chase them into the valley. None of us would come back. But Boone, she's your own daughter. I have no daughter. Do Dan take this woman to be your lawful wedded wife? I do. Do you, Gail, take this man to be your lawful wedded husband? I do. For as much as you have consented to join in the bonds of holy wedlock, and have given and pledged your troth, and have declared same by joining hands, yeah. Go on with it. Oh, to, to be sure. I pronounce you man and wife. Dan! Fine thing for you to be doing, marrying a Dawson. Wait a minute, Dan. The Dawsons just got your dad. They shot him in the back. Is he... is he dead? No, Dan. But he's badly hurt, and he's asking for you. That can't be true. The Dawsons don't kill from ambush. Are you going to stand here all night and chew the rag while your dad may be dying? Let's go. Four children. A heavy cross has been laid on their young lives. I can't go with you, Dan. Why not? The Valley men will be there, hating all Dawson. We've been drawn into this in spite of ourselves. Your father needs you. Go to him. Don't worry, Gail. If we stick together, everything will work out all right. Back yonder, in bed. We sort of expected you to come alone. I'd rather see you alone. How is he? Not very well. Don't excite him. Uh, 
sit down. Well, son, looks like they've laid this wall right in your lap. We'll talk about that after you're well, Dad. I'm done. I know when I've drawn my ticket. Son, Red told me you aimed to marry that Dawson girl. Did you do it? Yes, Dad. I'm sorry. Where is she? In the living room. Bring her in. Remember, don't excite him. You'd think he had more respect for his father than to bring that girl in this house. I always thought a lot of Dan. But I don't like the way he's acting now. It's all the fault of that Dawson girl. Sit down. You left your own kin to marry one of the men they're fighting. Why? Because I love him. And is that the way you show your love? Take him away from all his friends and tie him with a bunch of cowardly murderers who will shoot a man in the back? That's not true. Dad, don't say that. Why not? Who else would have shot me? I've had no quarrel with any man until the Dawson started this. We started this? Who murdered my cousin at the dam this morning? What? Uh... I warned you not to excite him. You'll have to get out, both of you. Dan, I can't stay here. They won't let me. What are we going to do? We won't give up yet. I'll bring them to their senses. stock. He'll go the right way. Uh, uh, uh. They ask for it and they'll get it. Yeah. Right. Right. Clean out that nest of rattlesnakes. Are you afraid to do your duty? What do you mean? That man just rode in here boasting that he shot a man in cold blood. Why don't you arrest him for murder? No Dawson had better talk about murder. <laughs> the Dawsons aren't very popular around here. No, we don't care none for that tribe. There'll be no more of that kind of talk in this house. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm sorry to tell you Hub Stockton is dead. Well, men, I reckon the next move's up to us. Listen to me, all of you. You've shouted for war when there's no reason for war. And my dad believed you. You've cost me the best friend I had on this earth. You've been like locoed wolves, howling for blood. 
when all you needed was a little common sense. Maybe you can't understand men who will fight for their rights and not be tied to apron string. I can understand this much. Somewhere in this dirty mess is someone with an axe to grind. Someone who hopes to profit by having a lot of men kill each other. We don't admire that kind of talk. You know your way home. And don't count me a friend until you come to your senses. We'll get along without him. Yeah, that's the man his dad was. Oh, come on, get out of there. Come on. Huh? Why you boys will be wearing little pink ribbons on your saddles? Why you? Go on about your business, Mark. I think Hammond can find a place for any of you boys that aren't happy here. Dan, to make the stand you did took courage. Your father would be proud of you. You two have the right to live your own lives. I wish you happiness. Did I let him down? Something inside of me makes me want to go out and kill. Kill everyone who might have done that to him. I'll guarantee you with my life that no one from the Mace have fired that shot. boys are all gathered at Hammond's, and you're invited to throw in with us. How come? Oh, just thought maybe you might want to put in a lick for old Hub Stockton. We're through fooling with that murdering outfit on the Mesa. We're riding up there today and wiping them plumb out of existence. Well, I... Why are you dragging out your blanket rolls, boys? We're hitting the trail. We're through with this chicken yard outfit. All right. I don't want men who can't be loyal. You're the one that's letting us down. Dan, I never thought you were too yellow to fight. I'm sorry I had to do that, Red. It didn't leave me an out. If you boys are riding, get started. Long, Red. Dan, I must ride to the Mesa and warn them. You can't do that. We agreed to stay out of this fight. But this is different. No. You're either in it or you're not. If you ride up there, you declare yourself on the Dawson side. But I can't let them be attacked without warning. I must go. Then don't come back.
Get rid of your gun. Now get off of those horses. I'm here to tell you you're not making any more war talk at Hammond. Why not? They'll come to their senses if you'll keep your mouth shut. And if you don't, I'll shut it for you. You know you're none too popular around here, so you better be careful about making threats. It seems to me like you've got a private reason to stir up trouble. Suppose I have. Can you prove it? Whether I can prove it or not. This country isn't big enough for both of us. And one of us is moving out right now. Stop that gun! So, my young friend, you thought you were going to get away with something. Nice work, Mark. Hurry back into town now and wind up that business. All right, boss. What about him? Bring him, too. He made a lot of cracks about me. I want him to be awake and find out how I pay off. this hombre off your hands. Why? He busted me in the jaw and threw me off his ranch. And I was just on my way back to settle with him. I don't know about that. Listen, Baudry, I'm not up for arguments. This is your finish, Dan Stockton. All right. Come on, Blackie. And that's that. All right, Dan, you can get up now. You even had me fooled for a minute, Red. <laughs> you know, I really do owe you a poke on the jaw at that. What's up? I'll pay you later. You go on to Hammond and keep your eye on Beaudry. Where are you heading? To town. I'm going to find out why Baudry sent Mark there. You're not welcome here. But I have something to tell you. I don't want to hear it or see you again. Boone, don't say that. Your kin and my kin were feuding when you married me. And I never saw any of my folk again. Don't do that to Gail. She knew what she was doing when she rode away. And I only came back to warn you that the cattlemen are coming up here to wipe you out. The whole country is up in arms. Hub Stockton was murdered last night. Shot from the dark. Do any of you know who shot him? No, 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 no. no one left the mesa last night except Jed. He went to get me some drops for my toothache. And he ain't back yet. He won't be back. What? He was murdered. Oh, murdered. Go back and tell your friends we'll be waiting for them. I have no friends. 
Well, we'll talk about that later. Have everyone come to my house. We'll make our fight here. We'll take my land. I'll fight with my brother. We'll show them what to do. Hello, Bill. Hello, Hello, Jack. Hello, Jack. Well, how is it? Well, about all here, Mr. Blackie. Yeah, we'll soon see Dawson fur flying. Well, there won't be enough of them Dawson's left around here to watch a shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> Boys seem to be in pretty good spirits. A fighter of frolics, all the same to most of them. Here comes the ammunition wagon. <laughs> Ride into town, see what's keeping Mart. He should be here by now. Right. Ah, oh, just sign there. That's the easiest money you ever made. Sure is, Mark. Thanks. Hello, Cherokee. Hello, Dan. Come on in and have a drink. Since when could you buy a drink? Since right now. Where'd you find that? Well, it's about like finding it. I took myself up a homestead and sold the Baudru without even getting up out of my chair. Yeah? Where is this homestead? Up on the Mesa. Why, there's no land open for homesteading on the Mesa. This soon will be. Remember, you have justice on your side. Your fight protect your right to earn an honest living and to avenge the cowardly murder of our friend Hub Stockton. Show them no mercy. That's right. That's right. Come on. Just a minute. We're going to have a little talk. I ain't craving no conversation with you. You're going to have it, whether you crave it or not. So Baudry framed this war so he could grab those Mesa homesteads. That's what you think. That's what everybody will think before I'm through. Give me the papers those fellows just signed. I can see now who's behind all these killings. 
As soon as I stop those crazy fools from riding to the Mesa, one of you is going to answer for the death of my father. It wasn't me. You better be able to prove that. Stockton broke into Bogarty's office and is robbing his desk. That don't sound like Dan. I ain't talking about what it sounds like. I'm telling you what he done. I've got plenty to settle with you, but that can wait till I get back. There he goes now. Give me your gun. We've got to stop him. Make any noise now, and we'll take them by surprise. I'm no sneaking Indian. That's right. Let them know we're coming. What warning did they give Hub Stockton? That's a nest of rattlesnakes up there. Treat them as such. Bodry's right. Let's wipe them out. Let's That's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Why don't we all lay in the narrows and knock them off as they ride in? I don't want war if I can help it. I let them know we're ready and give them a chance to turn back. They're the ones that want war. I'd give them plenty right at the jump. Let me handle this. Looks like they're ready and waiting for us. We've been double crossed. Spread out and let's rush them. Get ready, boys. All right, come on. 
somewhere. Well, I... That's who double-crossed us. I have proof that Bode reframed all this trouble so we could jump these Mesa homesteads. That's a lie! We'll have a look at this proof. Here's a bunch of applications made out and ready to file on this land as soon as it's vacated. And all of them deeded over to Baudry. What's this I hear about you robbing Baudry's office? You bet I did. And I found out why Baudry promoted this war. He wants this land for himself and started all this trouble with a pack of lies. He's the one responsible for all the killing. He's guilty of murder. There he goes! Don't let him get away! Stop those men! Stop, why don't you? Come up there. Red, you take care of those men. We'll go over and clean this thing up right now. Yeah, this is a pleasure. Let me go. Let me go. I'll give you everything I've got. You're going to answer for the murder of my father. Here at the end of a rope.
never meant to take all the water. There's plenty for everybody. Too bad we couldn't have decided that before. We might have. If we'd have listened to Dan instead of Baudry. Dan! Apology, Dan. Yeah. yeah, we all owe you an apology. Yeah. 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 He saved us from other trouble. Are you ready to come back home? Yes, Dan. Always. Forever.